Swami Rakam Ji, you are in danger. <laughs> I led my whole life in danger because I have been taught you are bitten by the hand that feeds and kept on feeding and was bitten and that bite was not painful. That bite was a slow poison. My whole body is full of poison. <laughs> When I was in Tokyo, one Australian girl told me, how do you Indians sleep? I said, uh, why? And she said, I heard that snakes will fall on your body wherever you sleep, you stay. I said, you don't know that. That's why from my childhood, all our Indian mothers give a little bit of snake poison to all the kids and every engine is full of snake poison and if I kiss you, you will die. She got scared, she screamed, ah! I never escaped from uh, defending. Even in Bhagavad Gita, they said, whatever you build, it will be destroyed, but keep building. So where is the danger when you embrace danger? you find a new path. You are not trying to possess the danger of what is coming your path. And the society is not dangerous. The people who are biting you are not dangerous. They have been forced to do that. Their whole body is poisoned with the borrowed theology. Hence, this dangerous situation Milovan Gillas, born on 12 June 1911 in Montenegro, died on 20th April 1995 in Belgrade in Serbia, was a Yugoslav communist politician, theorist and author. Milovan Gillas said, tyranny is to compel men not to think as they do, to compel men to express thoughts that are not their own. And they have removed the dictators, the tyrants from almost every part of the world and they became the greatest tyrant. They said to catch a big fish, put a small fish and catch the big fish and consciously, unconsciously the rich and the rulers and the so-called religious leaders who are puppets in the hands of the rulers do not want to come out of the comfort zone and they become a greatest tyrant. And they forced their philosophy into everybody from the birth. I heard in the Stalin era, Stalin called all the doctors and they said, not a single mother will give birth in their house. Every mother has to come to the hospital because in the Russia, birth was a, such a beautiful natural process in the house. And Stalin said, the moment the child is born in the hospitals, you just put this chip into the brain. And when I sit in Moscow and I said, Saudan, everybody sit up. Sit, everybody stand, everybody will stand. They will listen to me. Doctors disagreed. Then I was, if I was there, I could have told Stalin, stupid, you come to India from the childhood. No chip, without chip, everybody knows to follow that tradition which they call without improving. They kept on kept keeping the raw stone without polishing. And hence the poverty. The poverty is because they allowed the foreigners, Aditi Devo Bhava, to enter into our place and they kept on taking all of the things, polished it up and sold it to the whole world. Like how the Japanese told me, everything we learn from India. And including your religion, we just to teach to our country, we polished the most beautifully, we polished and it became Zen. Yes, for the layman, we forgot that tyranny is to compel men not to think as they do. The child from childhood, they found out what the Indian parents have done it. 
They forced the child into the every school and college, universities. And from there it continued to the hospitals, into the companies, factories. Nobody uses their own brain. And if I can see the Twitter and I can see the Facebook, how people are supporting a particular religion or a particular political party, it is they are expressing thoughts that are not their own. All these teachings are only to compel men to express thoughts that are not their own. Nobody is expressing and they couldn't express. They found every stranger, a smile of a stranger, they think all that glitters is gold which the child has been to all the glitters is not that gold. And I have a kitten, we call it Nikucha. And morning, I heard a big scream. My kids were screaming. I, from my bed, I just ran to, towards the sound from where it came. It was the back seat of my Indranagar Rakum school. I ran there and all my kids were screaming and I saw a, a pack of street dogs attacked my Nikocha and my kitten. And when I looked, I saw the kitten in the mouth of one of the dog and the dog was shaking. I ran as if I'm going to tear the dog into pieces. The dog left the kitten down. We looked, it just gone. Why the dog bit the kitten and why the kitten went to that backside? The kitten was taught in our house with, with our another doggy that don't attack the kitten and Inu and Nikocham were playing together. This kitten thought, this Nikocham thought, those dogs are also the same. She went directly to play with them and they killed. Our children have been killed day in and day out because they have been disconnected from the family, from the joint family and the family tree. Tyranny is to compel men not to think as they do. They never allow the children to think and to build up and to polish and to make it more better their tradition, their samskriti, their culture, their family, joint family and the family tree. The, the head of the family has become a tyrant looking at the religious leaders, looking at the political leaders. He never had any brain. He kept on without allowing the people to polish their own talent, their own power. They couldn't move or build up more power. <laughs> Hence, our family, joint family and the family tree crashed. And children were sent to America, to very various countries, as if to learn something without polishing, without strengthening your own body, without strengthening your own house, without pouring a bit into their own family tree. How could you be a human being? You are in danger. Yes, I was in danger. They're talking. No, nobody is dangerous around me. Of course, but the, look, the moment I look at them, they look at me as if I am a dangerous man because of their borrowed knowledge. They cannot see the beauty what has been created around the ashram. Day before yesterday, I just went in the center of the road to stop a, a, a tractor and the tractor man attacked me. I just stopped a bus some months back, BMTC bus, and the driver asked, Now, Mr. Samuji, why did you stop the bus? I said, to run in this road, you have to pay me tax. He said, what tax? I said, you have to get down from the bus and every day have prasad food and then go. He smiled and said, thank you, Samaji. But this tractor man got angry. Why did you stop? Get out of my way. I beat you. I was trying to be a little friendly, but the friendliness has become dangerous because it is not their fault. It is the fault of the society's greed of our family hits. Please come out of that. Practice the Sanskrit. The family sits together, eats to prays to practice together every day. Hug your wife and your husband and your children, your grandfather. They need a hug. The danger is gone. They need a hug. 
and all the diseases are gone. They need a hug, all the poverty, they need a hug, all the tears are gone, including the trees and the animals surrounding you, including the wind and the sunlight and the rain. Please embrace it. You're out of danger. <laughs>